I'll show you two Android apps that you can use to stabilize shaky video on your phone. First is the free Google Photos app. Navigate to your video in the Google Photos app and then tap on it to open it. Tap on the settings icon at the bottom of the screen to make adjustments to your video and then tap the word stabilize. When it's finished, you can play the stabilized video back to review the results, and if you'd like, you can save a copy. The second app for stabilizing video on Android devices is the PowerDirector app. Though it requires a one-time payment to remove the watermark it puts on edited videos in the free version, PowerDirector can do more than stabilize video. It is a complete video editor for Android devices. In PowerDirector, add your shaky video to the timeline. Tap on your video clip in the timeline and then tap the pencil icon to see a list of editing functions. Tap on Stabilize and PowerDirector will go to work stabilizing your video. After that, you can make adjustments to the level of stabilization that is applied by moving the motion level slider. And if you're happy with the results, you can save the video and share it in a variety of ways or choose to save it with a different video resolution. Let's take a look at the video stabilization results of each of these apps. On the left is my original shaky video clip, and on the right is the stabilized video produced by Google Photos. I think it looks really good. But on the video stabilized by Google Photos, I noticed some distortions occurring around the center right area of the top half of the video. Notice how the clouds and other parts of the video are warping a lot here. The stabilized video from PowerDirector looks great. Keep in mind though that I use the highest settings for video stabilization and that when you do video stabilization with any app, part of the video near the edges is cropped out and the higher the settings you use, the more of the edge area will be cropped out. You can see here that although the stabilization is great, that comes at a cost of cropping the video heavily. If I chose lighter settings for stabilization, it wouldn't be cropped out this much. For the remaining 40 seconds of this video, I will play results of both apps at once with the Google Photos clip on the top of the screen and the PowerDirector clip on the bottom. Thanks for watching.